what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,300 episodes. How many people got 1,300 episodes? Ash got 1,300 episodes. Yes, I do. And over half a million streams worldwide. Thank you guys for all the shares, the cares, the love. If you're not already following your girl, follow me across social media at One Love Ash, the number one Love Ash. And you can at me and send me some messages, some good vibes, good vibes only. All right. You guys know for the last couple of months I've been doing like different products and trying different services and things of that nature. I came across the founder of a divinely natural, Miss Sharice Hicks. How you doing, Sharice? I'm doing well, <laughs> Ash. How are you? I am doing fabulous, lady. Now, everybody was been, you know, hitting me up about the lashes and, you know, because I went out to get my lashes done and you had some right. other services that were going on. Now, how did you end up in this field of female empowerment and, and beauty and wellness? <laughs> wow. Well, I've kind of always been into beauty and uh, skin care and just um, that healthy type of look in the natural type of look. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I do wear makeup, but I love an all-natural look all the way around. I love when, you know, your natural beauty shines through. So um, I guess about in the year maybe 2000, I really started um, delving deep into all-natural and organic products, and that's kind of where Divinely Natural was created. Mm. Now, there has been a trend. I'll say a trend because, you know, when anything is popular, when something's new or people are starting to investigate on different things, everybody want to jump on board. Everybody want to jump. And they uh -huh. got their own style uh -huh. of doing it. The V-Steam. Oh, yeah. where, where, how did you discover about the V-Steam? And for those that are, that are not okay. familiar, please explain what a V-Steam is. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you how all of this came about. So in the year of 2010... I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. um, anytime anyone gets diagnosed with, you know, any type of, uh, you know, cancer or, or severe illness, it affects them. Um, either you're going to delve deep in depression or you're going to find some type of empowerment. Mm -hmm. And although you go through that period of depression, um, I came out of it by researching all natural herbs and, and things that would actually um, help my body and you know improve so what happened was after I had uh, the removal of the cancer I had my right ovary removed I was concerned about okay am I going to be able to conceive am I still yeah. going to be able to have children these are all the questions that I asked my OBGYN and of yeah. course you know her answer was yes of course but so we always we don't want to hear mm, that but mm, right no, so she was <laughs> like but um you may need IVF treatments, and she started naming off all of these different chemical things, and I was like, hold up, what? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I wanted to find a more natural way of being able to conceive, keeping my reproductive system healthy, and I began to do my research. Mm -hmm. um, and what I found was vaginal steaming. So vaginal steaming, it's basically – a universal practice across the board. It was created ages ago, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So in countries such as Africa, India, Asia, before we even had OBGYNs, we had those ladies in the village mm -hmm. that created vaginal <laughs> steaming, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what they did was, depending on the areas that, you know, you live in, because herbs and flowers grow in, you know, different areas depending on the climate, you know, if they're tropical, you know, things like that. So what these women did was they took those herbs that were um, healing herbs to help heal the reproductive system. They put them all in a pot of um, hot boiling water, and they allowed it to make like a tea concoction. Mm -hmm. And so the woman would come um, uh, if a woman had issues, you know, um, basically, you know, um, having children, or if uh, a woman had had a child and needed to clean out her uterus, they would go to the woman in the village right. and sit on that pot, and they would be cleansed, they would be cured, pretty much, um, mm. if there was a woman who was barren. 
uh, eventually she she got pregnant and uh, she gave birth to a child. So that's kind of how um, vaginal steaming got started. Um, a lot of, um, you know, everybody goes to the OBGYN that day, but um, you do have those midwives that are still in existence. Mm-hmm. Um and so they do a lot of vaginal steaming as well. Um, and like I said, it just it cleanses the, the reproductive system. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of someone saying that um, a woman may have some type of stagnancy in her uh, reproductive area. Yeah. And all that means um, they almost they kind of almost say having a cold. <laughs> you know, it's like you yeah. have a you have a cold. You know how you <laughs> when you get that cold and it's like you don't feel well mm-hmm. and your body starts doing crazy things and yeah. and all that. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what it is. It's cleaning out the cold. It's cleaning out that stagnation. Um, it's producing the blood flow. Um, so yeah, it, it also not only helps with gynecological uh, situations, but it also helps the um, the digestive problems as well, and it rejuvenates the cells. So I want women to know, if you're married or if you have a boo, you know, whatever you do, uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this type of service also improves sexual performance and the feeling that you get while having sex because Ooh. it definitely rejuvenates. The cells, yes, ma'am. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> all right, Doctor Sharita, y'all heard it now. This is all right. Okay, y'all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a brief break. We come back. We're talking more with Sharice Hicks. We're talking more divinely natural, and we're talking about this V steam because I'm I'm even more intrigued now about it. So you guys hang tight, and we will be right back. Who is Lola anyways? Lola is a female-founded company offering a line of organic cotton tampons, liners, and all-natural cleaning wipes. Choose your mix of products, mix absorbency, and even delivery frequency. Lola subscriptions are fully customizable, so you can change, skip, or even cancel at any time. They now offer sex products, too. Lola condoms are ultra-thin, lubricated, and made of natural rubber latex. Also individually tested for contraception and STI protection. Lola's got you covered. I am a huge fan of Lola, and you will be too. For 40% off all subscriptions, visit mylola.com and enter Ash Said It when you subscribe. Be sure to tell them Ash Said It sent you. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. We're chilling out with Sharice Hicks, founder and CEO of Divinely Natural. So, Sharice, hey, hey. for... For your potential client who is considering, uh-huh. hmm, maybe I should get a V-Steam, what can a uh-huh. client expect on their first visit? Okay, so what they're going to expect is to have me be their doctor for a good 10 to 15 minutes because I have you fill out a form before mm-hmm. you even come to your appointment, and I'm asking all types of questions. Um, the one thing that I have learned about um, using herbs and the vaginal steaming process is you definitely have to uh, be very cognizant of who your client is. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody cannot get of these things, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, so if <laughs> if you are um, uh, if you are one who has the I think it's called the IUD. Um, yeah. where they, um, yeah, that, that birth control method where they stick the little, um, that yeah, plastic thing. Yeah, like a little tooth yeah. thing up in there, girl, I don't want that. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right, so um, you definitely want to be careful if you do have one of those because you cannot get a regular steam. You would only be able to do a 10-minute steam. So mm. these are things that uh, a vaginal steam facilitator should know. No one should be getting more than a 30-minute steam. So, mm. um, like I said, when you come in, I'm going through your um, application uh with a fine tooth comb and mm-hmm. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at your, uh, your regular health history, yeah. your vaginal health history and all that type of stuff. Cause it's, it's very important for you to know who your client is. And it's very important for you to know which herbs to use on which client. Mm-hmm. I cannot give this a client who has a, a regular 28 day cycle, the same herbs that I give to someone who has a 10 day 
cycle, you know, uh, or one who has, if you're, if you're a person who bleeds in between your cycle, yeah. you cannot steam. I won't mm-hmm. steam you because you just don't know when your cycle is coming. Yeah. And we definitely have to be on um, alert uh, for these types of things. So if you're going, if you know someone who vaginally, who does vaginal steaming yeah. and they're like, oh no, you're going to get an hour steam and no, oh, you have an IUD. Oh yeah, girl, you can steam for an hour. No, ma'am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is far from the truth. That mm-hmm. is, is not the proper way that vaginal steaming um, should be used. And you definitely have to be careful of which herbs to use on which person. So we're going to go through that in depth. And the next thing is for you to get undressed and you're going to be given a steam robe. And um, I kind of created my own little chair. Mm-hmm. Um, kudos to me. Yes, <laughs> get it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks just like a regular like leather chair. It has a diamond hole in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit on there for either your 10 minute, your 15 minute, or your 30 minute steam. And you can relax, you can journal, you can meditate. I have the soothing music on, and I definitely have my essential oils going. And, yeah, you just relax and and meditate and do your thing for the time length of your steam. And once you're done, uh, oh, I also give chocolates because (laughs) women love chocolate. We do. We love some chocolate. Women love chocolate. (laughs) And you definitely want this to be a, a, a good, sweet experience, so you get chocolates. Um, and the steam, it really relaxes you. Um, a lot of women who have had depressive symptoms Mm -hmm. have, um, seen improvements, um, just by having a steam. Um, one woman could not go to sleep. Um, and when she got her steam, she was able to fall asleep throughout the whole night Mm -hmm. without waking up. Um, so there are definitely medicinal benefits and, and herbs that we know, and, and they can, absolutely change your whole life so it's just going to feel like a warm steam bath i don't do anything where i'm putting a whole entire cloak on you and you're steaming hot sweating and things like that no that's not the proper way because Mm. everyone does not need that there are some instances where women will need that but Mm. i do not provide that type of service i provide the most appropriate way to do vaginal steaming so it's going to be very relaxing it's not going to do you any harm we can always adjust the temperatures of the the water, um, the, when the herbs are steaming in the water and, and everything. So it's going to be very comfortable. Okay. Cool, cool. So, Jerez, where can people go if they need to book their steam and they want to get more information about you? Absolutely. Um, go to my website, www.bedivinelynatural.com. That's B-E, Divinely Natural. Dot com. And I have where you can book your appointment. You can read even more about the vaginal steaming. You can order products because um, if you want to steam in the comfort of your own home, I actually do consultations, Ash. So I do okay. those by video. Mm. And I can also give women a, um, a treatment plan um, mm. because this is sort of like, I don't I don't want to say I'm a herbal doctor or anything like that, yeah. but you definitely, if, if a woman is trying to conceive, if she's trying to get pregnant and, you know, there's some things going on, I'm definitely going to discuss that with her, and we're going to get a treatment plan going. So okay. um, I, I do those. Um, they do cost, of course, of course um, yeah. but it's very beneficial. It's a one-time fee, and boom, and I can mail you your uh, whichever blend is appropriate for you and your needs. Seems like a plan. Cherise, thank you so much for joining us today. Dropping that knowledge. I gotta sign up for a steam. That's gonna be next on the list. Absolutely. Come on in, (laughs) Ash. Come on in. I'm I'm, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. And uh, also, Cherise, let everyone know how to follow you on social media. Yeah, absolutely. So you can definitely follow me on Instagram at BeDivineLyNatural.com. That's B-E, Divinely Natural. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, at B-E, Divinely Natural. No, B-E, Divinely Natural. My website is www.BeDivineLyNatural.com. And then on Facebook, it's Be Divinely Natural. Mm. So you can follow me on all those social media outlets. Send me a shout out. Um, Share with your girlfriends, your mom, your aunties, your cousins, your best friends. All women should steam at least once a month. Um, It's definitely going to benefit you. I will say that. Sounds like a plan. Sharice, thank you for joining us today. 
Definitely you are absolutely you. welcome, Ash. <laughs> and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for all of your downloads, the shares, the love, the cares. Makes a huge difference. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is way better. Until next time, you guys.